mess and I don't have a great setup, but I'm gonna show you how to do the whitewash. This is one coat, so I'm putting on the second coat now. This is just a mix that I have of the upper white color that I'm doing in the kitchen, and it's just mixed one-to-one -one ratio with water. After you mix it, you know, stir it with the paintbrush really well, make sure there's no clumps, and then you'll just take it, I'm just gonna brush it on. I'll show you what it looks like after I clean up my drip. Okay, so it just looks like I painted it white, but here's now what I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna take an old pajama top from one of my kids and I'm just gonna wipe it all off. You're basically using your paint as a stain to get the white into the wood, but still have the beautiful wood show through. We'll show you what it looks like. And it's hard to see a little bit in this lighting. It's dark outside. and But you see how you still can see all the wood grain through it? Even though it's pretty white. And I will put two, with my kids, probably three coats of poly on there to protect it before it goes in the bathroom and gets wet. And that's it. Okay, hi everybody. I'm gonna show you, uh, these are the doors with the coats that we fin I just finished the second coat for. Good news, they look really good. I love the color. Bad news, they need a third coat, which sometimes happens with a really dark color like this, so I'm not entirely surprised, um, but kind of a bummer because it's obviously, it's extra work. This one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna get the third coat on and then I'll show you how to start from the very beginning on scratch on the other side. And I just wanted to real quick show you the, um, the whitewash. I'm gonna put two or three coats of primer on that right now with a simple paintbrush, pretty easy. But after two coats, this is what it looks like before the primer when it's dry. So I will show you it after it's primered and after the third coat, I'll start the primer with you. Um, hi everybody, we're back. The door, the lowers, have been completed. The inside's finished, the outside is not. I always start with the inside because I'm not perfect. So I try to make all my mistakes on the inside of the cabinet, but the outside looks beautiful. I'm gonna start by uh, bondoing these. There's not much that needs to be done. These were um, pretty well taken care of or very lightly used over the last 30 years. So there's only a few spots. Um, and I will show you this door right here has some dents and some divots in there. And we don't want that to show after we paint it. So this is the Bondo wood filler. You mix it and set it, it dries pretty quickly. So I'm going to fill that hole with this. Give it another light sand, and then we'll be ready to start primering. And in the meantime, I'm going to put another coat of, let me grab you here, another coat of primer on the whitewashed bathroom vanities. Um, so here they are. They just have one coat of poly. So I'm going to put two more just to really protect them since it'll be for a rental and for my boys. This is the polyurethane that I use. Crystal clear satin. I'll get that done. Give you guys a let you take a look at it. <laughs> It's dark, it's late, but I finally got 
the last coat on the lowers and I'm so glad to be done with the green I will show you when they're dry Thank <laughs> you.